and welcome to another exciting match with DWI Wrestling alongside me, the great Anthony Devlin. Hey, thank you very much, Mr. Great, Mr. Frankie Reyes. It's awesome to be here with you today to call this here match. And in the ring, we have the big man known only as the monster, six foot nine, 310 pounds, going up against the Boris Malenko Brass Nux champion, Butch Long. I'll tell you what, this year should be a great match. The vet, Butch Long, against the newcomer, the monster. And although this guy is a newcomer, I'm going to go out here and put this out there. Yeah, he's got the size, and I might even go ahead and say the strength advantage in this match. This is a very big man. I don't... In my, in my 30 years in professional wrestling, I think there have only been two men bigger or as big as this man. He is huge. Well, I gotta honestly say, Mr. Reyes, that usually we have a much better camera angle on this, but uh, our cameraman for this match is an idiot. Well, I'm not gonna disagree with you, Mr. Devlin. Um, of course, for those out there who are not informed, uh, the Force Malenko Brass Nux Champion is the toughest, toughest wrestler in DWI wrestling. And this trophy was named after Boris Malenko, who was eight-time, eight-time NWA Brass Nux Champion. I'll tell you what, we have a tough Brass Nux Champion in Butch Long. Yes. I must say that our former Brass Nux Champ, Lightning Monroe, nowhere close to as tough, but might Oof. be as crafty. That was big, a heck of a bow clothesline. Big clothesline there by the monster. And that's all we have from him. That's his name. The monster. That's all we have. And he has taken it to Butch. I don't think I've seen Butch on his back foot like this. No. Ever in a match. And referee for this event, uh, Brian Rub Ref. Brian Rub Wright. Did you call him Brian Rug Wright? Brian Rug Rat. Rugrat? Uh, Rugrat, yes. Rugrat. He is not a very tall man, but he is completely dwarfed by these two. Oh, nice missile drop kick there by Butch Long. What he makes up for in height, he doesn't make up for anywhere else. Ah, uh, yeah. And now these guys have taken the outside ring. Of course, in this match, there are no rules. Anything goes. And in the corner of the monster is the former Brass Nux champion, Lightning Monroe. Oh, oh. Butch Long Taking giving it pounder. every opportunity to try to get back in this. Hits him with a couple big chops. This guy just drops those big logs of forearms. Uh, oh. You know what's creepy? That's how small he makes Butch Long look. Yeah, and Butch Long is not a small man by any means. This man is huge. Huge. Oof. How did DWI happen and to get and, and, and manage to get a big guy like this on our roster? I don't well, understand. As you know, Tony, uh, DWI has an open door policy. We accept... If we think they have the talent, we accept any wrestler who wants to come out here and and get on the roster. And uh, the monster came to the board of directors meeting and said, I want to be on your roster. And I think I can beat everybody up. Exactly his words. I can beat everybody up. And I want that DWI Heavyweight Championship. So this is basically his debut match here at DWI. I don't even think basically. I've never seen this guy. So essentially, it is his 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 debut match. And against former heavyweight champion, three-time tag team champion, WCW former star, WWF former star, Butch Long. And look what he's doing to him. Yes, 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 yes. But that's not to say that we need to count Butch Long out because no. you know and I sure know through experience 
that Butch Long can pull it out at any time. And we both have been in the ring against Butch Long. And if anyone is deserving of the Brass Knucks title, it is Butch Long because he is one tough SOB. I definitely would agree with that. And this, this, this man, this monster is taking it to Butch Long. What horrible positioning by that referee. Yes. Oh, and Butch oh, Long. Oh, I'll the monster right here. Trying to pick up Butch in that fashion worked against him. Just sat right back down. Let him eat cranium. Oh. Nice move. And how do you take a big man down? Take him off his feet. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, practice, practice. Sorry, couldn't help that. Oh. Big well, boot there by Butch Long to the side of the face. I've said it many a time. You want to even up the score? Kick him in the head. And Butch Long pulling out all stops. He is just... And here he comes with the Malenko stomp right there. Tremendous. Oh, a little Kevin Sullivan in there, too. But at the end of the day, all oh, 100% highway, man. Exactly. Exactly. Lightning Monroe out there screaming that Butch Long making a fool out of the monster. I think the monster I made a fool with him. himself when he got Lightning Monroe to be his manager. I'm not going to disagree with you there. Oh, he caught him. He caught him in midair. But to be this, completely honest with you, oh. This could be it right here, Tony. This could be it right here. But to be completely honest with you, if you folks look at the monster and look at Lightning Monroe, there is an uncanny resemblance. They're both ugly? Well, apart from being ugly, okay. I do know that Lightning Monroe had been talking about bringing in his younger brother. Oh, Oh my God! Get a quick roll of Butch Long gets the win, the one, two, three! Tremendous, tremendous win by Butch Long, and still, Brass Knucks champion. The announcer sounds just like you, it's Doesn't crazy. It easy. But I'll tell you this much, exactly what we were talking about. That is years and years of in-ring experience. He might have been getting his tail handed to him, but at the end, when the one, two, three came, it was for him. He gets the W. The big guy, the monster, gets the L. Yeah, shit on That's that. what I think about it. Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, no, get the fuck out of here with that. Can we hear it? Do you want to say that? I don't want to do that. Hold on a second. I don't want to do that. Now.